Okay, greetings from Toronto, gentlemen. How are you guys doing? Hey, what Toronto. Up? Toronto. What's up, Canada? Hey, Canada. Canada. Yeah. yeah. We love you. We love you here in Canada. Our show's going so, so well, so popular. Congratulations on a great first season. I know Thank us you. Canadians are going to love season two. Um, okay, so Jimmy, let's just start with you because I'm gonna, I want to ask all of you this question, but Jimmy, you can start. Um, now that you've had time to settle into these roles, you're not freaking out as much that you're taking over these iconic characters. But what's so amazing is that you've had that opportunity to kind of make them your own. So, Jimmy, what was that like for you? Yeah, if I'm honest with you, yeah, I was r relishing the 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 opportunity and the challenge. You know, I wasn't. I think Morgan Cooper gave us a safe safe mm -hmm. space to just. Uh, know that we're not doing the original so we right. could all make it our own so there was never that panic and i and i think um it, the, the, i think it was in a fortunate position where i was able to enjoy my youth again watching the original and go how do i want to sort of roll out my version and me and morgan talked about uh, representation is important and authenticity and i wanted to show the version of uh, jeffrey that i've seen growing up from east london i'm from east london so i know right. i know people like jeffrey and so when i look at the original uh, the original jeffrey representing someone else from west london quite middle upper class and i wanted somebody that was book smart and street smart you know that had a bit of swagger and edge you know and, and also that he couldn't be put in a box and so for me it's just been a joy i feel very privileged it's a blessing and what I love is that people's responses to Jeffrey, they they see the nuances in terms of what the writers are writing for me. They see what's going in in his performance. But I think the biggest thing that people are talking about is his love, his brotherly love with Phil, you know, mm -hmm. and how okay. that is so powerful and rarely seen on screen. Even that last episode of season one, there's a stereotypical version where it's like, oh, we're fighting in the office. And it's like, no, we're not doing that. But we <laughs> are going at each other. Yeah. We are yeah. upset. Yeah. We are exactly. like, this is a heartbreaking scene. <laughs> this is a, you know, family doesn't have to be blood. That's what this show is all yeah. about. Absolutely. OK, Adrian, pick yeah, it up the from show, there. The because, show, you know, uh, just to piggyback off, off uh, Jimmy, uh, the show, yeah. Yeah, it's about heart and it's about love and it's about family. And, uh, you know, we want to, you know, maintain that 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 balance in the household and, and, and keep keep us together and, and the foundation strong. And, um, you know, sometimes you have to look, uh, take accountability for yourself. And, right. uh, you know, you know, the role you play and, uh, you know, and, and that's what we do uh, a lot in the show. So for me, though, getting this role, I mean, it was a dream come true, of course, and 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 so unexpected. It came, it came so like I would have never dreamed. I, I wouldn't, not, I would have never thought that this would have been my reality. It's a dream come true, obviously. Yeah. Um, and um, you know, just uh, with the uh, the temperatures, the, the climate, the world that we're living in today, I knew that you know it, it was such a very important character to show uh, a father figure, a patriarch, you know, uh, dealing with. Uh, family that's flawed and and, yeah. and and trying to uh mend all these situations and and, and keep the structure solid and so i i i, I applaud our, our writers for for doing such an incredible job and i said they could put words in my mouth any day because uh yeah they, for they sure a great job of that but uh, i just had to tap into um just just my own inner strength and, and just trust i had to just trust myself and and my own instincts um and uh not think of Morgan Cooper, you know, made it clear that we are not to, you know, do reenact what the originals did. We could be ourselves. And he yeah. validated our performances. He, you know, once we got all the validation from from him and, and, and everyone else and, and obviously the public um, uh, coming back for season two, it was just like, oh, a dream. We could, just, yeah. we could just relax and just continue doing what we were doing. Absolutely. OK, Ollie, take it away. Uh, the beloved Carlton, you've done such a great job playing him in this way. How special has that been for you? It's been kind of echoing what everyone else has said. It's been a dream come true. You know, at the end of the day, as an artist, all you want to do is represent real life on screen. You want yeah. to give the audience the chance to feel seen, to feel recognized. Um, and, you know, I know that because of everyone around me, because of the writers, because of my fellow cast members, I, I think that I've done Carlton's journey of mental health and you know his struggle with identity justice and yeah. that to me is the greatest gift that i could ask for 
Yeah, and boy, are you guys ever lucky because you have Tatiana uh, Ali. It's, yeah. I mean, in the season, seriously, were you all pinching yeah. yourself Crazy, on right? that? Oh it's my amazing. God, she's incredible, and she's the amazing. sweetest, so nice. nicest so person. Nice. Yeah, I remember the first time I met her. She was she was coming out of her trailer, and I it it felt surreal. And she had just done this scene where she was talking to Ashley, and she was saying how it's so weird because she was t telling to Ashley things that she wished that someone had told her when she was playing Ashley. Wow. And you know, she was doing that in the scene and that, you know, that's spiritual. Like yeah, when we talk yeah, about yeah. gifts, that yeah, is such a yeah. gift to both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, listen, I wish I could talk to you guys forever. You're just gonna have to come to Toronto and we'll all go right. for, you know, we'll hang hey. out at Drake's mansion or something, okay? Let's do it, let's, let's do, do it. it. In the <laughs> six, the six. Yeah. I'll be home guys, soon. thank you. <laughs> thank you so much you. for your time. Have a great weekend and uh, speak to you again soon. Take care. You thank too, you bye. too. Take care. Okay.